In a universe teeming with mysteries and boundless possibilities, the concept of a civilization that far surpasses our current technological and scientific understanding ignites the imagination and challenges our perception of reality. When we talk about advanced civilizations, we typically reference the Kardashev scale, a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the energy they harness. Originally, this scale had three levels. Type 1 civilizations which utilize the energy of their entire planet, Type 2 harnessing the power of their star, and Type 3 controlling energy on the scale of their entire galaxy. But what happens if we go beyond this scale? Let's say, Type 7 civilization, let's find out. This idea pushes beyond the established Kardashev scale, which measures a civilization's level of technological advancement based on their energy consumption. The Kardashev scale, developed by Nikolai Kardashev, a Soviet astronomer, categorizes civilizations into three types based on their ability to harness energy from their planet, star, and galaxy, respectively. A Type 7 civilization is characterized by its unimaginable control over energy. Unlike Type 1, 2, or 3 civilizations that harness energy from their planet, star, or galaxy, a Type 7 civilization would utilize energy from multiple universes. This isn't just about solar power or nuclear energy, it's about forms of energy that are currently beyond our understanding. Picture a society that can tap into the energy of black holes, dark matter, or even unknown cosmic phenomena. Their technology would be so advanced that it would seem like magic to us. For example, they could potentially create stars or harness the power of supernovas. Their understanding of energy would make our most advanced scientific theories look like basic arithmetic. The energy control of a Type 7 civilization would be more than just large-scale power generation. This means changing the structure of matter, controlling gravitational forces, or even generating new physical laws. Such a civilization could potentially prevent or initiate cosmic events like star formation or black hole creation. Their technology would not be confined to conventional machines or devices, but could be integrated into the very fabric of space. This integration of technology and cosmic phenomena would represent a pinnacle of civilization, where the line between nature and technology becomes blurred. This unparalleled mastery of energy would have profound implications. For a Type 7 civilization, energy crises or resource limitations would be concepts of the past. They would have achieved a state of energy abundance, capable of supporting incredibly large-scale projects. Their ability to manipulate energy would also mean the ability to sustain life in any form, anywhere. The capabilities of a Type 7 civilization would extend beyond the space-time continuum. For them, traveling vast cosmic distances or even altering the flow of time could be within reach. This might involve technologies like wormholes for instantaneous space travel or time manipulation devices that can fast forward or rewind cosmic events. They might even possess the ability to observe or interact with parallel universes. Consider the impact of such control over space and time. A Type 7 civilization could potentially avert natural disasters, undo ecological damage, or even revisit historical events. They could explore different outcomes of evolutionary paths by tweaking variables in a planet's history. The concept of a linear, one-way flow of time would be obsolete. Their understanding of the universe would be incredibly advanced. Such a civilization would likely have a comprehensive map of the cosmos, not just in three dimensions, but in four, including time. Have you watched the scene in the movie Interstellar, where some entities are showing the protagonist Cooper all the different times of his daughter's bedroom all in one place? That's another kind of power that they have. The societal and cultural aspects of a Type 7 civilization would be as advanced as their technology. This civilization might have moved beyond physical forms, existing as energy beings or consciousness spread across space. Their social structures, ways of communication, and understanding of existence would be radically different from ours. They could have transcended physical needs like food or shelter, existing in a state of collective consciousness, or individual entities capable of shaping their reality. Their society would likely be free from many of the constraints we face. Issues like poverty, disease or conflict might be non-existent or resolved in ways we can't imagine. They could live in perfect harmony with their environment, using their advanced technology to sustain their civilization without harming their surroundings. This would be a society where knowledge, creativity and exploration are the cornerstones. The cultural implications of such advancement are profound. Art, music, literature and other forms of expression would likely be unrecognizable to us. They might have art that changes form and meaning over time or music that can be experienced as a physical sensation. Their literature could be multidimensional, telling stories that change based on the reader's perspective or mood. Their culture would be a rich one, woven from the threads of countless planets, species and experiences. Interacting with less advanced civilizations, such as ours, 
would pose unique challenges and opportunities for a Type 7 civilization. They might view us as we view ancient civilizations, primitive yet intriguing. Their approach to us could range from active mentorship to disinterested observation. They might share their knowledge, guiding us towards a better future, or they might adhere to a strict policy of non-interference, allowing us to find our path. The governance of such a civilization would likely be complex, yet efficient. They might have a form of democracy that spans planets or even galaxies, where every being's thoughts and opinions are considered. Alternatively, they might have transcended the need for governance as we understand it, operating on a level of collective consciousness or mutual understanding that renders traditional political systems obsolete. Their interaction with other civilizations would be guided by a set of principles or ethics that reflect their advanced state. They would likely have a deep understanding of the impact their actions could have on the development and evolution of other societies. The technology of a Type 7 civilization would be a marvel. They could have devices that control the weather, terraform planets, or create life. Their medical technology could allow them to cure any disease, regenerate lost limbs, or even extend life indefinitely. Communication would be instantaneous, regardless of distance, and could involve direct mind-to-mind -mind contact. Their homes and cities would be wonders of engineering and design. Buildings could be alive, adapting to their inhabitants' needs, or floating in the sky, defying gravity. Transportation would be a matter of thought, where one simply has to think of a destination to be there. Their cities might be on planets, within stars, or floating in space, each a self-sustaining ecosystem. In this expansive universe, the idea of a Type 7 civilization serves as a beacon, illuminating the uncharted territories of human potential and cosmic understanding. It challenges us to think about the implications of such immense power and responsibility. How would a civilization capable of manipulating the fundamental forces of multiple universes view concepts such as morality, ethics and stewardship? What lessons could humanity learn from such an advanced society and how would this knowledge shape our future?